Dr. Rajiv Jir Devan, the co-chairman of the National Indian Medical Association IMA COVID Task Force, recently travelled to Singapore for one week and took to X, formerly Twitter, to share how he kept himself safe from COVID-19 despite a surge in cases due to the JN. One variant. I'm posting this because over the years, many acquaintances got COVID immediately after air travel to various destinations, he wrote in one of a series of tweets. One of the main ways he stayed protected was by using masks, especially in public places. He also noted that many in Singapore continue to wear masks and pointed out that amid the surge in cases, ICU emissions have remained low. I could see the locals in Singapore were following the same strategy we had chopped out. They are a well-informed community indeed, he wrote in answer to a commenter who had written, being in a country where others must too will help. Dr. J. Devon also pointed out which areas are especially high risk, including airports, where he stayed masked the whole time. High risk while boarding, he noted. He also wrote that he heard a lot of coughing throughout his flight, which he called a common problem nowadays, but added that he took his mask off for meals when the plane was already cruising and when ventilation was better. However, when he used the bathroom on board, he kept his mask on. Given the chamber size, his mask also stayed on after landing because of a period of low air exchange rate and people talk. This is high risk. He kept the mask on in a taxi to his hotel and noted that the taxi driver was also masked up. He stayed in the lobby and the elevator at the hotel where the staff was also masked. Dr. J. Devon wrote that he made sure to eat breakfast at the hotel early rather than later when there were smaller crowds. While walking around Singapore, he did not wear a mask in less crowded, large indoor spaces and while outdoors. He also chose airy and open hawker centres such as Lao Po set for meals. But in crowded stores and corridors, metro MRT and buses, everyone had their masks on. I noticed the masks were properly fitted, they know how to wear it, he wrote, adding, Singapore is a great place to visit. Clean, organised and tourist-friendly. This was our second visit in 11 years. Singapore, like many other countries, is currently going through a surge in cases driven by JN.1. However, the ICU admission rate is low. In any case, it isn't worth getting COVID, and a few basic precautions can go a long way during a search. Hope this helps.